When you think about street photography, you often think of juxtapositions. These artistic contrasts that you see in an image that has two elements that are opposing each other. You've probably seen this thousand times because it has been used for thousand times in thousand different variation across so many years of people doing street photography and that's why you might think it is in danger of becoming a uh, cliche but cliche or not you have to admit that it's really fun to go out and purposefully look for these little things these little contrasts and train your eye train your powers of observations to sum it up this challenge is designed to train your eye and mind to think and see as a street photographer. To make connections between these things that you see on the street, people, objects, uh, animals, street itself, you don't want to see them as individuals, individual parts. You want to see them as interacting with each other. So I hope I made a clear point here and you understand what I'm talking about and what I'm going for right now. But I'm going to name you a couple of examples just to make the whole picture a little bit more clear. So the differences or the contrast juxtapositions can be very, very obvious, like black and white, tall or short, fat and thin. But they can also be very abstract. Like, for example, you see a bird on the street, like a pigeon, a seagull, eating a human food like a hamburger or pizza. That's kind of funny. That's a juxtaposition. Or you see a guy uh, that's bold <laughs> and behind him there's a big sign, haircuts, something like that. So I hope I made it even more clear for you. But now I'm going to leave you with some technique and tips. When you're out shooting, walk really slowly and look at the details around you. Be prepared to wait. Find the right background and then wait for any other elements you need to come into the shot. Always have your camera switched on and ready to go. React instantly when you see a possible juxtaposition or interesting connection. This is an image I took a while back. And it is one of the best examples of a juxtapositions I ever got. The picture was just waiting to be taken. First of all, thanks for sticking to the end of the video. Well, this was one of these challenges that is not possible to do in one outing. It took me focused three days to get these six images that I'm fairly happy with. I hope you like them too. Give me some feedback in the comments. I always appreciate that. And if you're enjoying these videos and you want to support the channel, like, share and subscribe. That will be all. See you in the next one.